Hello and welcome to the channel. I really thank you for watching this video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install and then store memory layer with your AI models. Normally what happens is that whenever you are using API based models, especially it's very hard to maintain memory. You ask them a question, they reply you back. Then maybe you are streaming the chat or you are doing just one off inference. And if you want to go back to that inference, whatever you asked from the model, you have to ask it again. Your local system doesn't remember it. Not only it causes you latency, you have to ask it again. Plus it also increases cost because you are making the API call again, which is uh, being charged you for tokens. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this tool mem0, which is a memory layer for personalized AI. In simple words, what it does is it just provides you a smart self-improving memory layer for LLMs, enabling personalized AI experience across application. Also, it uh, uh, deals with another project embed chain, which I already have covered on the channel. So if you're interested, please search my channel with embed chain and you should be able to learn more about it but for now this video let's focus on what this mem0 software is before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus let me take you to my terminal where I'm running 1222.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GB of VRAM. Of course, this one is API based, so you don't need a GPU for this. You don't even need any GPU at all. CPU should be more than enough. What you would need is OpenAI's key. So you would have to go to platform.openai.com and then grab your key from there because that is what I'm going to use for this one. Okay, so let me first clear the screen and then I'm just going to create a Conda environment which will keep things separate from my local system. Let's wait for it to get installed and activated and you can see that it is already done. Let me run this uh, pip install mem 0 ai which is going to install it on our local system. So let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long. And that has installed here. Let me clear the screen. Also make sure that you install OpenAI. I believe I already have it, but yeah, I already have it. Okay, that is done. Let me export my OpenAI key. So I already have it. So I'm just going to put it here and clear my screen. Everything is installed and I have set up my key here. Let me launch my Python interpreter here. And now let's import some of the libraries which we have just installed, including mem0 and OS. L let's also uh, let me grab my OpenAI's API key from environment and now it is set in, in our environment in this variable too. Let's initialize the memory first. Memory is initialized and now let's get the result. So if you see here what I'm doing it, I'm just using this M which is a memory and I'm adding this prompt to this memory. I am working on improving my tennis skills, suggest some online courses and then user ID is equal to LS and metadata category hobbies. Of course, you can replace it with your own ID or whatever you like. So once you have it, let me print the result and then you will see what happened here. So when I do print result, there you go. So it has just assigned a memory ID, unique number, and then it's an, uh, the event was adding memory and the data was our prompt. And it has just changed it like working on improving tennis skills and interested in online courses for tennis. How good is that? Now, if you want to retrieve the memories, all you need to do is to uh, run this command all underscore memories is equal to m dot get all. And then you can grab a memory ID from it. You can even run it in the loop, but let's grab the memory ID and then you can just either print, print this memory ID or you can print all memories because we are, have only one. So we have, it has just, uh, not only given us our memory, but also all the metadata associated with it. If you want to search your memory, if you're looking for something, then simply you can run this query where I'm just asking it 
m dot search qt is equal to what our ls hub is and then user id ls and you can of course make it multi-user if you like and this is going to search it in your related memories there you go so it has found your related memory here similarly if you want to update a memory you can also do that by using the update function m dot update and then memory id whatever memory id you we have here we already have selected it and the data is likes to play tennis and then you can also get the memory history of a specific memory like this and now let me print it out to see what this history looks like there you go so first we um, added it and then we uh, the event event was add and then the event was update and then it is also giving you the update so looking at it you can see that not only you can store your memory here but you can build some system around multi-level memory where you can grab user its session and a agent memory retention you can also have adapted um, adaptive personalization by doing continuous improvement based on interactions it is quite developer friendly api as you can see simple python you can integrate it into any python application very very easily it has a uniform behavior across devices plus it is uh, if you don't want to do it on your own here they also offer a hosted version which you can check out i'm sure it will be some price oriented one now if you have some very advanced you said where not only you want because once you turn down turn off the server it is gone if you want to store it on permanent basis you can use a vector store such as quadrant and for that they also have provided a config file which you can install uh, which you can use in order to store your memories in the quadrant vector database in the future um, they are planning to integrate it with a lot of other llm providers including local ones and also support for llm frameworks i think agentic framework would also be included and then a lot of other things happening with this project so keep an eye on it i think uh, pretty good project i would say uh, seems like a useful addition to our already growing arsenal of ai tools because um, we don't want to ask our ai tool again and again because sometimes what happens is especially i have seen it with open ai that it sometimes it just provides you a very very fabulous answer and next time you ask the same question it doesn't return that answer which you like before no matter how much you try it doesn't go back you have to go through the history of your chat and grab it and if you have deleted it well there is no way you could get it back that is where i think this sort of thing could benefit a lot so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to this project in video description play around with it share your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching